Official tech here. Intel expected to release KB Lake Refresh known as Coffee Lake with the same 14 nanometer chip. But after that they will release 10 nanometer chip, codenamed as Cannon Lake. Cannon Lake, formerly Skymont, is Intel's codename for the 10 nanometer die shrink of the KB Lake microarchitecture. As a die shrink, Cannon Lake is a new process in Intel's process architecture optimization execution plan as the next step in semiconductor fabrication. Cannon Lake will be used in conjunction with Intel 300 series chipsets. Cannon Lake was initially expected to be released in 2016 but this got pushed back to 2017. Intel demonstrated a laptop with an unknown Cannon Lake CPU at CES 2017 and announced that Cannon Lake based products to be available by the end of 2017. Before Cannon Lake's launch, Intel is expected to launch another 1.4nm process refinement with the codename Coffee Lake. The successor of Cannon Lake microarchitecture will be Ice Lake, 2019 which will represent the architecture phase in the Intel process architecture optimization model. The things you have to know about 10nm chip. In semiconductor fabrication, the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors ITRS, defines the 10 nanometer 10nm, node as the technology node following the 14nm node. 10nm class denotes chips made using process technologies between 10 and 20 nanometers. Samsung first released their version of a 10nm process node in 2017. While the roadmap has been based on the continuing extension of CMOS technology, even this roadmap does not guarantee that silicon-based CMOS will extend that far. This is to be expected, since the gate length for this node may be smaller than 6nm, and the corresponding gate dielectric thickness would scale down to a monolayer or even less. Scientists have estimated that transistors at these dimensions are significantly affected by quantum tunneling 11 as a result, non-silicon extensions of CMOS, using IIIB materials or carbon nanotube slash nanowires, as well as non-CMOS platforms, including molecular electronics, spin-based computing, and single electron devices, have been proposed. Hence, this node marks the practical beginning of nanoelectronics. The extensive use of ultra-locate dielectrics, such as spin-on polymers or other porous materials, means that conventional photolithography, etch, or even chemical mechanical polishing processes are unlikely to be used, because these materials contain a high density of voids and gaps. At the 10 nm scale, quantum tunneling, especially through gaps, becomes a significant phenomenon. Controlling gaps on these scales by means of electromigration can produce interesting electrical properties. Quantum tunneling may be advantageous if its effect on device behavior can be understood, and exploited, in the design. Future transistors may have insulating channels. An electron wave function decays exponentially in a classically forbidden region at a rate that can be controlled by the gate voltage. Interference effects are also possible, Alternate option is in heavier mass semiconducting channels 15 photoemission electron microscopy PEM, data has been used to show that low energy electrons 1.35F could travel as far as 15 nm in SiO2, despite an average measured attenuation length of 1.18 nm.